this month we've been featuring a lot of uh, new entrepreneurs, uh, new to us, but not new to entrepreneurship. Uh, the finalists for the uh, Family Business Association Awards for 2014, which I'm proud to be the host of and one of the co-founders of the association of, of one of my many hats. We have, the, uh, we have Lisa Wexler, president, and Ken Wexler, chairman of Elaine Construction Company, uh, the medium category finalist. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Why don't you tell us uh, the history of Elaine Construction and what you do? Uh, the history of land construction is um, <clears throat> something we're very proud of and uh, pretty straightforward. My father started the company in 1947, so, so that Lisa is the third generation. We, he started off doing primarily public work because that was the ease of access to get, you know, to start a company and get into the public sector and government work and Corps of Engineers work. And eventually we trans. Uh, unfortunately, he only lived until 1961. He died quite young when he was in his 50s. Um, and my mother ran the company for a number of years, hence the Elaine construction. And then my brother and I joined the company in the late 60s. And then my daughter joined me after that. Uh, we work 100% in the private sector. Our clients are financial institutes, institutions, banks, um, Harvard, MIT, uh, Fidelity Investments, so we're very fortunate. We have a wonderful client base, and we do mostly interior work. Occasionally, we'll do a ground-up project, but the bulk of our work is interior. And for those who uh, are not familiar with the categories of construction, can you describe interior work? So interior construction would, sorry, interior construction would be the work that happens inside of a tower or an office building. So. Right not worrying too much about the weather conditions or the rain or the snow, but interiors is, you know, laboratories, um, office space, banking space. Is it a very competitive market that you're in? Extremely <laughs> competitive. In spite, of, in spite of how much work is going on, and there's a lot of it, it is still very competitive. Uh, it's, there's a lot of contractors, there's a lot of good contractors working in the downtown area. So you do have to be uh, competitive. It's very challenging to get work done right now because believe it or not, there's actually some shortages in some of the trades and some of the, some of the, in some cases, the industry has not built itself back up since the recession. So people who left the business did not get back in. But for those who have, us who have stayed in it um, and kept going, it's, it's, it's quite busy uh, and the competition is just part of what we're used to. You know, what do you see as the major challenges for your industry? I mean, one of the major challenges, I think, is distinguishing yourself as not a commodity and really trying to be a service provider um, in a world in which lots of people like to think of construction procurement almost like buying pens. So really, you know, trying to distinguish yourself amongst, as Ken pointed out, a great deal of competitors. How, how do you do that? I mean, I, I agree with you. I mean, I think everything today with the internet and all of the things that are going on, you know, out, out there, require everybody to be a service provider. Right. <laughs> I mean, it's really amazing. Yes, yes very true. You know. yeah. So how do you do that? How do you accomplish that in your business? So in our business, you know, what we really try to do is be the right boots on the ground and make our clients' lives a little easier. You have to do something more than just build it. Because as Ken said, you know, there's a group of people who can build it. So whether it's having a superintendent who goes the extra mile, who comes to you with a solution rather than a problem, whether it's having project managers who understand that mistakes are going to happen but being part of the team that solves them and not just brings them to light, whether it's working round the clock for a client who's got a deadline that they didn't know about, it's a 24-7 business whether it's having access to principles. So for us, that's a big differentiator. Lots of our competitors are larger uh, construction firms. So we have the same skill sets, but when you pick up the phone and call someone at Elaine, you get a principal. That's personal service you're talking about. Exactly. Chris. Where do you see the business going? So the construction industry has you know, some unique challenges. It's trying to keep up with the technology age. So everybody wants everything to be faster. And at a certain point, there is a piece of the industry that's still bricks and mortar. So we're doing a lot of things smarter and lots of opportunities for you know, continued growth as we try and figure out what's a good fit for doing things faster and smarter.